As more and more people around the world go out and treat themselves to a video camera, the pictures they bring back from the unknown are making it increasingly obvious that a very large number of the people on this planet aren't very good at doing certain fairly basic things. In fact, it's becoming more and more noticeable that the world is full of people who can't actually do anything. This dad doesn't understand the basic principles of gravity. What goes up... <laughs> Some men can't cut the simplest lawn without falling backwards. Some men can't sit on the simplest swing. This mum is dangerous to even sit next to. This dad hasn't quite mastered the tricky art of sitting. This boy's mastered sitting, but hasn't chosen a very safe place to sit. If this guy's a plumber, do remind me not to let him mend anything under my sink. If these guys are furniture removers, remind me not to let them move me out of my house. At least this man has mastered walking, but only backwards and badly. This plant has mastered getting downstairs without hurting itself at all. Now, I've no idea what this man's not very good at, but he's not very good at it. <laughs> this man's very good at getting up on roofs, but not very good at staying on them. This man looks like he's going to be very good at staying on roofs, but he isn't. <laughs> this man had half a mind to get back up again. Clearly, half a mind is all he's got. <laughs> this man half wants to get back into his house, but not straight through the roof. <laughs> this family doesn't do anything by halves. Let's enjoy that just one more time. I must say, I have noticed that snow does seem to bring out the very worst in you and the very best video pictures, of course. But on a more serious note, snow and ice are just too dangerous to be treated with anything but the utmost respect. <laughs> Now, you've got to be safety conscious at all times when you're working up on a roof. This man has very sensibly tied one end of a life-saving rope to his waist. Unfortunately, he's tied the other end... ...to a car. It was so nearly such a good idea, wasn't it? Apparently what happened, this is true, he tied the rope to the bumper of his wife's car as a kind of balance, right, while he worked happily away on the other side of the roof. But he forgot, even so much as to mention it to his wife, who drove off to the shops, <laughs> with him still attached. I don't know if they're still married, it, it does seem unlikely. Actually, a lot of the people in our videos can't be easy to live with. They're also accident prone. Some people can't go in through a door without damaging themselves. Some little girls can't stand on a stage for long. Hey, 
Some mums can't sit on the edge of a bath without being pushed in by their children. Some people aren't safe to lie down, or even to sit next to. Nobody, it seems, can put a few shelves up, especially ones with paint on. This guy's going to need new curtains from Santa Claus. This guy's going to need a new head from Santa Claus. This guy is Santa Claus. This guy's Santa Claus. And this one's Santa Claus. And this one's Santa Claus. And this one's a dog trying to eat Santa Claus. Mind the tree. Mind the tree! That's lucky for Father Christmas. He only has to somehow survive what's clearly one very dangerous day just once a year. Judging from your home movies, for the rest of us, every day has every chance of being our last. See, the trouble is with video cameras, if you make a fool of yourself, it's recorded for your family and your family's families forever. There's just no privacy from a camcorder. There's nowhere you can hide. Absolutely nowhere. This guy is so busy, he has to eat his breakfast in the loo. This little girl's busily making herself a toilet roll suit. These two kids are just busy doing nothing. Together. This guy's not busy at all. He's also not even remotely disturbed by the arrival of a video camera. As I said, there's just no way you can hide from a video camera. What I find increasingly puzzling is why some people actually bother to video some things in the first place. <laughs> like, why would you bother to record your wife cleaning out the family freezer? It's probably the first day with a brand new video camera. And you know how you just film everything that moves for a day or two? until you realise how expensive new videotape is. But you have to say that by any standards, mum cleaning the deep freeze doesn't seem to be potentially too riveting, does it? <laughs> Some fairly dull shots of the contents of the freezer. Meat, vegetables. There's a lot of film of the world's least interesting bucket. <laughs> We're building towards some breathtaking footage of mum's quite breathtaking thigh tops. <laughs> See what I mean? But you have to concede that otherwise it really doesn't seem too promising, does it? <laughs> Until... Well, you have to agree it was well worth the long, tedious wait. Let's enjoy that bucket and those thighs just one more time. <laughs> <laughs>